Victim of a Christmas morning shooting tells Action News Jax he knows the teens who shot him. Today, the victim let only Action News Jax Jenna Bourne inside his home. She joins us live from his neighborhood in Woodland Acres. Jenna, he tells you the doctors could not remove the bullet because it's shattered inside a bone. He was just released from the hospital today and was still wearing his hospital bracelet when we talked. He told me he was on too much medication to feel comfortable going on camera, but he said those suspects parked at this stop sign, and one of the suspects said, how about now, before firing at him? These bullet holes in the front door are a reminder of terrifying moments on Christmas morning. The shooting victim on Jasper Avenue tells me he pushed his cousin inside to safety before he was struck by a bullet himself. You can see the bullet holes in the door. I count one, two, three, four, five, and six. And if you look right over here, one of them also hit his TV. You can see more holes in the wall behind it. After the shooting, JSO says the suspects led them on a four-mile chase into Arlington. JSO used a pit maneuver to stop the white SUV on Cessary Boulevard. The officer in this squad car was hurt when he crashed into this pole, knocking out power to neighbors. Three 18-year-old suspects are now in custody. Two fakes to judge today. Rodney Gett Gaddis's bond was set at $150,000 and Antonio Brown's bond at $100,000. A JSO source tells us Clarence Mayweather is the third suspect. The victim tells me he knows the teens, he's seen the teens before because they're fighting with a young family member of his. He tells me he plans to move out of this neighborhood. Reporting live in Woodland Acres, Jenna Bourne, CBS 47, Action News Jax.